Very good, thank you. Now we have uh, item number three, discussion and possible action for approval of bills, payroll, and monthly reports. Let's go ahead and start with our treasurer like we always do, Mr. Raul Reyes. Hi, good morning, Judge. Uh, good morning, Honorable Judge and uh, County Commissioners uh, Raul Reyes, County Treasurer, for the record. Uh, this morning, Your Honor, I have two items. I have the presentation of bills and disbursements, and I also have the monthly report for the month of uh, August 2020. Um, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to put the slide, but in the meantime, I'll continue, right? Uh, for the period of September 11th, uh, 2020 through September 24th, 2020, uh, we did receive and review 1,315 invoices for which 389 checks were processed, totaling $783,208 with 59 cents. We also received and reviewed 408 invoices and processed 94 electronic fund transfers, totaling $1,952,262 with 86 cents. During that same period, we had 11 invoices that were uh, paid and released early with 10 checks, uh, processed totaling 687 thousand two hundred and forty six dollars with 14 cents um, and of course we also had four invoices that were paid via electronic tra uh, fund transfer totaling forty two thousand two hundred and thirty one dollars with five cents um, we had some requests for uh, departments the major one on the next slide um, you'll see was the local uh, provider participation fund uh, payable to the state comptroller for $656,238 with 58 cents. And then you also had um, some other um, expenses that were deemed uh, important um, and that could not wait for uh, today's meeting. And the next slide, yes. Real quick, real quick, uh, Mr. Reyes. So that 656000 that was all accounted for and everything. We were expecting all that. Is that correct? Absolutely, yes. Okay, just making sure. All right, thank you. In the next slide, um, for the pay period of August 28th, 2020 through September 10th, 2020, the total gross wages and liability disbursements for the county's payroll for that period totaled $4,109,788 with 87 cents. And then finally, in regards to the Casablanca golf course payroll on the next slide, as you recall, the previous estimation for the pay date of September 25th, 2020 was $25,000. The actual disbursement amount was $23,927 with 42 cents. Um, for the upcoming pay date of October 9th, 2020, the estimated funds required will be once again $25,000, and that approximate estimation is $23,883 with 62 cents. I don't know if y'all have any questions regarding um, any item uh, within this report. Commissioner Galo, are you still muted? Somebody might want to reach out to him. He's here. You see him? I'm here with Wowie. Oh, there you are. Okay, very good. You have anything, Commissioner? I'm sorry? Do you have anything? Well, you just moved to approve the uh, estimated payroll and the report. Okay. I second so, that. I have a motion. I have a second. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Mr. Reyes, you may proceed, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. The next item is the monthly report for the month of August 2020. Section 1 highlights the county's portfolio and bank reconciliations for the month of August 2020. The total cash at the end of August was 102,960, I'm sorry, $102,960,108 with 88 cents. Our total investments were $17,903,867 with 89 cents. 
for the grand total portfolio of 120 million eight hundred and sixty three thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars with seventy seven cents the total entrance earned on all of our bank accounts with um with falcon was a hundred and fifty eight thousand nine hundred and one dollars with zero cents the next slide you'll have our interest rate of returns um, with text pool accounts our rate of return is 0.1768%. With multi-bank securities, the weighted average is 1.4900%. And of course, with our depository, it's 1.5000%. Section two highlights the details of the county's investments and the total interest earned for the month of August 2020 was $9,460.91. Um, please keep in mind that uh, we have minimal uh, deposits, I mean, minimal investments with our text pool accounts and multi-bank securities because we are getting a better rate of return with our, de our, our depository. Um, section three highlights the total checks issued from our general operating account that amount is $13,607,698 with 71 cents. Section four includes uh, activity pertaining to the sales tax bingo and mixed beverage collection. In August, our sales tax income as noted um, in the report was $1,300,838. The sales tax income failed to meet this fiscal year's uh, projected income by $174,162. And as did in the month of July, uh, unfortunately, it represents another decrease of $178,529.00, which represents 12.0679% decrease from the, the previous fiscal year. With regards to the bingo and mixed beverage on the next slide, um, we had no revenue during the month of August. However, if you can see in the, in the report, we do have a cumulative um, average for um, each item uh, accordingly. And I just wanna note that you'll probably see that in December, 2019, the amount actually uh, decreased and that's because we were notified by the state controller that they overpaid us $21.25. So uh, that's already indicated in the amount uh, of revenue uh, for the quarter ending December 2019 for the bingo tax. tax. In our next slide, section five, it highlights um, the rents received and paid for all the and so all the rental income was received and our rental liabilities were paid as indicated in the spreadsheet. In August, our rental income was $7,530 with 24 cents. And our rental liabilities in the next slide were $19,138 with 29 cents. We are working with some departments to ensure that uh, we get the new POs um, so that we can uh, expedite those payments that um, have not been paid during the month of July and August as indicated in the spreadsheet. The next item represents um, our current debt service payments for and their with respective uh, due dates for the month of August. We had no principal payments. However, we did have interest payments totaling one million two hundred and ninety three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars with 36 cents as indicated in the next slide and as of august 31st 2020 our cob balance was ninety four million nine hundred and twenty two thousand one hundred and eighty two dollars with 48 cents uh in the next slide you'll you'll see the uh payments of our leases um that amount was $73,479 with 37 cents. Um, in the previous, uh, in a previous meeting, the court approved a final payment for Caterpillar, uh, Caterpillar Financial in the amount of 66,720. So that's why 
the amount is high of $73,479 with 37 cents. And then last but not least, um, in section seven, this includes our permanent school fund report, um, $65,735 with 77 cents was received in royalties during the month of August. The available ending balance is $1,300,668 with 29 cents. That's indicated in the formal uh, report. And at the request of Commissioner uh, Galo, we did include there um, where the royalties are coming from, for Highway 44 and, of course, Highway uh, 59. Um, also indicated in the report is um, the projected uh, uh, payments when uh, payments are due um, for either hunting and grazing lease payments or um, also the royalties. That's all I have this morning, Your Honor. Thank you, Raul. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for everything you're doing. Motion to approve. Motion Second. to accept. Sorry. Motion to accept. Second, Judge. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Appreciate you. Judge, I have a question. Yes. Uh, Mr. When do we do the school disbursement? The school disbursement normally happens uh, towards the end of the year, early uh, year. It's usually in October, isn't it? November? Yeah, October. yeah sometimes. I thought it was in October. At 1.2 to, dis to distribute. We leave 100,000, right? Yeah, we have 1.3 million. Uh, yeah, we, have, we have to leave 100, I think. Is the Absolutely, policy. yes, 1.2. All right. Well, I guess Nathan can get with the school districts to see on the, when they get their, I guess they have to have their enrollment confirmed or whatever, right? That, that ought to be interesting this year. <laughs> it will be. Very much so. Numbers are going to be, how are they going to account for that? Anyway. <laughs>